Hey everyone, and in this video I'll be covering what you need to know if Amazon Prime Video isn't showing the titles you're looking for, or if you're getting those frustrating regional notices that certain shows just aren't available in your country. Now this usually happens because of geo restrictions, which means Amazon is limiting what content you can watch based on your location. So if you're outside the US, you're going to miss out on a big chunk of the library. For example, sometimes entire shows like Vinland Saga just won't even appear. And the only way to fix that is by using a VPN that's actually able to buy pass Amazon's regional filters, since not all VPNs can. But there are a few that work really well, and I'll walk you through how to use them properly, what to expect, and which ones I've found to be the most reliable, without all the trial and error. Also, just a quick reminder, links to discounts and full reviews for each of the VPNs I'll mention are down in the description, so feel free to check those out if you like. So here's a quick example of how this works in real life. Let's say you're outside the US and you decide to search for Vinland Saga on Amazon Prime. What usually happens is that you either won't see the title at all, or you'll get a message saying it's unavailable in your region. But once you connect to a US server using a VPN like ExpressVPN, then refresh the page, the full US library appears and that traveling message disappears. Now Amazon Prime is actually one of the tougher platforms to get around. They're really good at detecting VPN traffic, so it's not just about using any VPN. You need one that's constantly refreshing its IPs and optimizing its servers for streaming. And that's where the trial and error comes in, especially if you're using a free or low maintenance VPN. They might not work at all or only give you partial access. But with premium VPNs, the experience is a lot smoother. For example, with ExpressVPN and Surfshark, I was able to unlock Amazon's US library on the first try. NordVPN also works well, though sometimes it takes switching servers once or twice to get the right one. Now, if you want the best chance of getting Amazon Prime, or really any major streaming platform, to work reliably, there are three VPNs I'd recommend, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Starting with ExpressVPN, this is the one I usually reach for when I want something simple that just works. It's compatible with nearly every smart device, including Fire TV, streaming sticks, and even smart TVs. Now, if you have a Samsung smart TV, you'll need to either install it on your router, use their media streamer DNS feature, or mirror from another device since Samsung doesn't allow native VPN apps. But aside from that, Express is very user-friendly. It now supports up to 14 devices at the same time. And with over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, including plenty in the US, it's one of the easiest VPNs for getting around geoblocks. If one server doesn't work, just switch to another city and you're good to go. And then there's NordVPN, which is a great option if you want the fastest speeds and a few extra privacy tools built in. It supports up to 10 devices and they've got a huge network of over 7,900 servers in 165 countries. The Nordlinks protocol, which is based on WireGuard, delivers some of the best speeds I've seen and is especially useful if you're streaming in 4K. You might need to switch servers once or twice with Nord, but once you're on a working US server, it accesses Amazon Prime just fine. It's also packed with security extras like ad blocking, split tunneling, and even MeshNet for secure device-to-device -device sharing. And lastly, Surfshark is the value pick. It has over 3,200 servers across 100 countries, and it's the only one of the three that supports unlimited devices per subscription. So it's perfect if you want to share it across all your devices, or even with friends or family. Even though it's the most affordable option, it still works really well with Amazon Prime, Netflix, Hulu, and more. It includes features like Bypasser, which is their version of split tunneling, a rotating IP option, and no borders mode for restrictive networks. Plus, CleanWeb blocks ads and malware, and it uses the WireGuard protocol for fast, reliable streaming. So just to quickly sum it up, if you want something premium that's consistently reliable across all your devices, ExpressVPN is the easiest to use and one of the most dependable when it comes to accessing Amazon Prime, Hulu, or Netflix, even on Fire TV or Smart TVs. If speed and advanced privacy features are your top priority, then NordVPN is a great fit. It's packed with tools for security-focused users, and it's the fastest of the three for things like 4K streaming or large downloads. And if you're after the best value, especially if you want to share your account across a bunch of devices or with other people, Surfshark is a solid choice. You're still getting great speeds and a full feature set just at a lower price point. Now the good news is all three VPNs come with a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try any of them risk free. And if it doesn't work the way you expected, just reach out to support and get a refund with no hassle. Each provider also offers 24 seven live chat support 
which you can find right at the bottom corner of their website. So whether you need help finding a working server, asking for a refund, or just have a setup question, someone will be there to walk you through it. And again, if you want to check out current prices, discounts, or the full reviews of each VPN, I've included all those links down in the description. So hopefully you found this video helpful, especially if you've been running into issues with Amazon Prime Video not showing all the titles you expect. If so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, whether it's about VPN setup, server recommendations, or just how these compare, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. I always try to respond to as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.